Let's talk about website flipping. It's something that interests a lot of people, uh, particularly I think because they associate it with house flipping and they see a lot of people having success with that offline. So subsequently they wanna get into, well, flipping digital properties and flipping websites. And there's a lot of sources out there now and it seems to be growing rapidly over the last year or two where you can source deals for websites. This is one I follow, it's called the Website Flip. Uh, the gentleman that runs behind it has an awesome email list and a lot of insight out there on flipping websites and well, runs kind of this, uh, I guess deal feed, I'm not exactly sure what to call it, but it curates sites that are out there for sale, I do follow that. And back in 2018, I actually bought a website that was for sale on Flippa. And I'm gonna talk about that and talk about the economics behind it. So let's go to my example. I bought the website for about $36,000. It was in the personal finance, uh, personal finance, personal finance niche, uh, a sub genre of personal finance kind of for a particular, I guess, type of person. I'm going to just be vague with that. Uh, the website still exists today. I did pop it into SEM Rush actually before making this video to check on it. Uh, traffic really has not moved at all and it didn't look like they've really done anything since they bought it. So anyways, I bought the website in 2018 for about $36,000. It was earning about $1,000 in change per month. So I paid a 36X multiple. That's pretty important because that is how websites are valued. Basically, websites are valued on a multiple of their kind of average month monthly earning, and that's the six month um, trailing. Do I think that's a good way or not? I don't know. Um, I don't. I guess I should say don't like the six month average as a long term thing. I don't think that is long enough to account for seasonability, which exists in a lot of industries and a lot of verticals. In the offline business world, an average of the last three years revenue, so gosh, six times longer, is kind of the standard. I think that the six month average really isn't long enough. But that said, people are paying for it. And, you know, I bought this site for 36X. Uh, people are paying more, a lot more than that, a lot higher multiples than that now. I, I think the site would go, gosh, probably up close to 50, maybe even higher for a well, well done content site that has an actual organic following behind it. There's a lot of factors that go into it. But one thing I always look for when I'm looking at content sites is do they actually have a brand behind their content site? Are they just like a content site that dumps a bunch of content out online to kind of capture search volume? Or are they actually built a brand where people are typing in their brand name? And this was a brand. So uh, yeah, so I paid a 36X multiple on that, on that earning and got the website on Flippa, right? So now when you buy a website or you're gonna flip a website, you ultimately need to have a plan for improving it. You just don't wanna buy it and then relist it for sale. You gotta do something to it to make it better. Some people just buy it and relist it for sale. Uh, I don't think that is a very ethical or lucrative way of doing business. Maybe it's lucrative for some people if they you know, can kind of arbitrage and find somebody that'll pay a lot more for it, right? If they get, get an opportunity. But that's not what I was doing and that's not how I would plan on flipping a website. You always need to have a plan. So for that, for my plan, my plan was to improve the content. Uh, so we spent, let's jot some of these expenses out here, $5,000 on content, roughly. Content, uh, probably about 75% of that was rewriting. Some of the keyword, some of the content that did not rank so high, but had good potential. Like when I got the site, it was ranking like 50th or 60th for a keyword going to rewrite it, maybe bump it up to page one, rewriting and new, you know, so that's what we would do. And then spend some time, some and money changing theme. That was kind of a pain. We're just going to call it 500 bucks changing theme and design. So it looked a lot better. And then um, improving calls to action. I should say improving conversion. Right, so improving conversion. Uh, I don't know what I spent on that. Actually, I didn't spend anything. It was my time. Uh, so whatever the value of my time is, which, shit, probably a lot more than these two numbers right there. So I spent some time doing that. So ultimately, that is what I sunk into it to improve it. 
And then I owned it for seven months. It took me seven months to do everything and to get to a point to where I sold it. So month one, a thousand, and then month two, a thousand, month three, it didn't really do anything. Uh, traffic actually kind of dropped a little bit here. And this kind of ties back in with what I was saying. The you know average of the last six months multiple or the average of last six months that people use as the baseline for the multiple I personally think is just too low to prop to be proper and reflective because it doesn't account for seasonal trends and there was a dip in traffic here I believe it to be seasonal but maybe not you know so my improving conversions at this time kind of kept things on par but if I had not done that I think my my revenue would have dropped probably like seven eight hundred bucks here so that is something to keep in mind. Um, and then month four, it improved a little, 1,200. Month five, it went down. Six and seven, it jumped up. And that was when I was like, okay, I want to get this thing sold at this point. I was feeling antsy. Seven months of owning the website, I wanted to offload it. And my plan you know, from the beginning was just to flip it and follow basically what is this plan right here. So how did I ultimately do? Well, we can do the math on this, right? I spent 36,000 on it. Actually, let's not do it like that. Let's just go with start with where I sold it at. I sold it for 475. Um and that was based on an average of the last 6 months again. So if we totaled up the last 6 months that I had it, my total would have been $7300 is what it made. Divide that by 6. My average was 1216 and then I think I got about a 39 on it. Yeah. So I got about a 39 multiple and you know I got a little bit higher of a multiple I think because I changed the theme and the design so it looked more looked better there was some good conversion uh, optimization done it was all in all a much better package right there's a lot better content on there so I sold it for 475 uh, which was basically a 39 multiple seven months later right so we'll start with that 475 baseline but then I had to pay a bunch of fees on it I forget what they were I'm gonna say it was about 10 percent that's pretty standard so now I'm down to $42,750, okay? Now let's start subtracting out the cost that I had to put into it. I had to put $5,500 into improving it. And then I had to pay $36,000 to buy the site. So we got that. So right there, the number is looking meager, right? And then I've got all these numbers right here. This is the revenue that the site actually earned while I was in possession of it. It earned about 8,300, right? I think that's the number. Uh, three, eight, three, yeah, yeah, seven, okay. So it, was, it earned 8,300. So all in on this seven month deal that mind you, we're not even accounting for my time that I spent facilitating this and figuring out ways to improve it and thinking about it and all that, it really only earned 9,550 bucks. To me, that seems kind of low, right? So what can we take away from this and what can you take away from this if you're thinking about flipping a website? Well, you know, I... I kind of want to jump to the valuation and say that this average six month is too short of a time to value a website on, but everyone's valuing it on that and they're going for that. You know, that is the market price. So it's like either you pay that or you just don't get into the market and participate. Uh, so uh, I don't like it. I think it should, the standard should be longer, two years. You know, offline business, it's three years. If, if you sell an offline business, and I have sold offline businesses, particularly in the home service industry, like plumbing, air conditioning, uh, exterior contracting, contracting like roofing and gutters, I have sold those types of businesses. The average is always based on your three years, your last three years, right? This is just too short. But that said, that's what the market is, and we cannot change the market. So anyways, um, yeah, what can we take away from it? Well, the price you pay matters, but the numbers are hot. I'm trying to think about this here. One thing I would take away, number one, is always buy a website that has a brand. I mentioned that, even if you have to pay a higher multiple. Or you could build a brand. I guess that could be something that you could do in the methods to improve it. And I think that's a whole other video. How can you improve a website that you're going to flip, right? Ways you can improve a website you're going to flip. One of them would be building a brand and improving the brand so you can take your website from a 36x multiple to a 50 or 60x multiple.
All right, in, in the general content world, these maybe 20 to 50 range, depending on how good of a site it is, is realistic. But in the big branded website world, those websites are going for 70, 80 plus multiples on that monthly income. Uh, yeah, so anyways, back to what we can take away from it here. I'm just giving a lot of ideas. Well, number one, I think you need to plan on having the site for a good period of time. Don't buy a website just to flip it. I would not buy a website just to flip it. Buy it, you know, with the plan of you're going to keep it and improve it for the long haul, and maybe you'll sell it in a year or so. Seven months here, I think I was maybe too antsy, right? Like, let's just look at the numbers. What if I had held on to this website for another four months and my income just stayed at 1500 stayed consistently at 1500 then my average of the last six months would be 1500 bucks. And let's just say I get the same multiple, 39,000. Uh, of course, there would be some fee taken out of this. So on average, or not on average, but approximately, I would have gotten another 10 grand for this website. And that would have put me up at, would have put me up at like 19 grand over the course of 11 months. So, you know, that's really not huge numbers there. Uh, and I think that would be probably the number one thing to take away. Don't plan on buying a website to flip it. Only buy a website if you're going to plan on being, or if you could be in it for the long haul and you're going to be patient with it. And quite frankly, I think that most humans out there don't have the time horizon to actually make that happen. So that's my insight on buying and flipping a website. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.